Damn it! In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to activate the virtualization technology of your computer in the operating system so you can run virtual machines or emulators for operating systems. We are going to use Android Studio so I can show you the problem occurring and I will going to fix it. While this is opening, you can subscribe to this channel if you want to see more videos about technology, informatics, operating systems, because I publish often. Also, hit the like button if this video helped you. If it didn't help you, write in the comments the model of your motherboard and CPU so I can help you later. So, let's show you the problem. We are going to open AVD Manager so you can create a virtual device and we are going to create a Pixel XL with the operating system Android 11. If you are using Android Studio and you don't have an operating system to install, you have to download it first. Click the download button and wait so you can use it. I already have it, so let's finish this virtual device. And with our new virtual device, let's run the emulator. And this is the problem. Could not start AVD. So the application could not emulate the operating system Android 11, so you can use it in the Android Studio. And this is the problem we are going to solve it. There are two ways to solve it. First, we are going to try to install an application of virtualization that the Windows uses, because sometimes when other virtualization programs are running, other can't. The second way is to configure the BIOS or UEFI, so we can activate the virtualization technology. Let's close the program and we are going to open control panel and go to disinstall a program. Here you can see activate or disactivate functionalities of Windows. Click it and find Hyper-V. In my case is not installed. If you have installed, try to deselect it, click OK, and the program will be disinstalled. And then try again, run the virtualization application. But now I'm going to configure the BIOS, so for that we have to restart the computer. So let's restart it. So, when you are starting the computer, you should press the escape or one of the functions keys to enter the BIOS setup. In my case, it will be F10. So, I press it until I enter the BIOS menu. So, we are now on the BIOS menu or the UEFI. In here, you should look for Intel VTX. Intel virtualization technology, virtualization extensions, or something related to virtualization, because that is the technology we are trying to activate. So, in the menus, you should look for chipset, advanced chipset, advanced CPU, security, or something like that. In my case, I know that is in security and system security. And when you open, in the second row, you can see Virtualization Technology VTX disabled. So you select that, so you press the key to the right to enable. Now we have Virtualization Technology enabled. We also have a Virtualization Technology directed, but we are not changing that. With VTX enabled, you press 
F10 to accept the changes and go back to File and select Save Changes and Exit. So we have the virtualization technology activated directly on the BIOS or on the UEFI. So let's press that and we press F10 to accept changes and let's restart the computer with the virtualization technology now activated. Now, with the virtualization technology activated on the BIOS, we are going to try again Android Studio to run the emulator with the operating system. Let's open Android Studio and try again the same operating system and device. Let's wait until it opens. Let's go again to Android Device Manager and choose the Pixel XL and click the arrow to emulate the operating system. And the operating system opened. We have the Android 11 running on the configurations of a Pixel XL. So our configuration worked. The activation of the technology on the BIOS made the emulation of the operating system work. And that was the problem, was not activated on the BIOS. So now on Android Studio, we can continue creating our apps and working with the program. And this is how you resolve the problem of emulating virtual machines or operating systems with emulators in Windows or other computer. You go to the BIOS or the UFI and activate the technology either for Intel or AMD. If you want to see more videos on tutorials, informatics, operating systems, subscribe to this channel because I publish often. And if this tutorial helped you, click the like button. But if it didn't help you, write in the comments the model of your motherboard and processor you are using so I can try to help you later. And also write in the comments if you are using Android Studio, what application are you developing and where are you studying? Are you learning by yourself or learning in a school, in a university? And write in the comments what's the name of your school or your university. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next video.